from my uncle, who just passed away a week ago, age 94, Graham Lincoln. He invited us up to Waiwera for Christmas, New Year, I'm not that look at the date, sorry, uh, 1963. And he had purchased two sections along the beachfront there after he used to visit the place when he used to be on the road selling and he used to stop off to have his lunch there. He said it's such a nice place there. I think we we'd like to have a beach place there. And then he said to my my family, my father and another uncle there, would you like to, um, or another two uncles there, like to have a section up there too. So when we went up there for Christmas 1962, was that what I said? Um, they bought, um, my uncle and my father bought a section together in January 1963. So after that, I was down the line in 1964, but in 1964, a Keith, or t actually two Keith Holmes came along um, with my, uh, my uncle next door and dad and my uncle on our site, came along the beach there and up onto the site there where they were. Uh, the uncle's place got stuck in the in the in the tide, and, and anyway they got it up there the next day. So that was um, the house there was moved on in 1964. We we over the years the the house had been added on to the lounge was made bigger by about 50 percent. One of the things with why where it was. The question when it when is it going to be low tide? Normally at the beach when is it going to be high tide? But with low tide at Waiwera you could walk out to Maharangi Island, which we used to call Rabbit Island, and walk across the, the Waiwera River over to Wenderhome Reserve. Yeah, I think one one of the things uh, up when you go up to the beach there, Waiwera is, is sort of classed as an ever changing beach there. So after a storm there. Sometimes all the sand can disappear out of the main front beach there. There's bird life there too, doctrines and that there, and you know, they've got the signs up there, don't go out there, or there's doctrines there. So it's just a good, good, nice place to do.